Jon Snow <laughs> joined Hollywood's A-list for an opening act unlike any other on the Golden Globes. CBS2 entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is live at the Beverly Hilton with more on the wildest night of the Hollywood's award season. Hey, Suzanne. You know, it has been a little while. We're at the HBO after party, and I feel like after all of those weather stories, I should mention they were planned for the weather. If you have a look behind me, you can see they had tarps covering this party, but it was absolutely gorgeous today. What do you expect? We are in La La Land, and of course, that's the big winner tonight. Welcome to the 74th Annual Golden Globe Awards. As you can see, cars are backed up for several blocks. For the first time, the Golden Globes opened with a musical number with host Jimmy Fallon leading an all-star cast of this year's nominees, spoofing the film La La Land. Beverly Hilton in an evening filled with Hollywood nostalgia, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association honored La La Land with seven of the evening's major awards, a record for most wins by a film. Yeah. Damon Chazelle. Yeah. Yeah. La La Land. And the Golden Globe goes to Damien Chazelle for La La Land. Including best film, musical, or comedy. La La, La, La Land. To Emma Stone. Emma Stone for best actress in a musical or comedy. Ryan Gosling. And Ryan Gosling for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy. Well, I was singing and dancing and uh, playing piano and having one of the best experiences I've ever had on a film. My lady was raising our daughter, pregnant with our second sweetheart. Thank you. Accepting her Lifetime Achievement Award, Meryl Streep highlighted the industry's rich international diversity. So Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners. And if we kick them all out, you'll have nothing to watch but football and mixed martial arts, which are not the arts. And she took aim at President-elect Donald Trump's performance without mentioning his name. Disrespect invites disrespect. Violence incites violence. When the powerful use their position to bully others, we all lose. We need the principled press to hold power to account, to, to call them on the carpet for every outrage. Casey Affleck won Best Actor in a Drama for his role in Manchester by the Sea. And the winner is... Viola Davis, Fences. Viola Davis won Best Supporting Actress in a Drama for Fences. Isabelle Huppert. Two surprises include Isabelle Huppert's Best Actress Award in a Drama for her role in Elle. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Not and Aaron Taylor Johnson for Best Supporting Actor in Nocturnal Animals. Moonlight. Moonlight, a coming of age film, took home the award for Best Drama. If you have seen this film, if you have told a friend, all I ever say is, please, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Much love. Now, social conservatives had strong reaction to Meryl Streep's speech on social media tonight. Sean Hannity of Fox News tweeted, This is exactly why Hollywood is dying. What a bunch of hypocrites. Sex, violence, and dribble rule Hollywood, turning the channel. And Meghan McCain, daughter of Republican Arizona Senator John McCain and Fox host, tweeted, This Meryl Streep speech is why Trump won. And if people in Hollywood don't start recognizing why and how, you will help him get reelected. Of course, the tweets keep pouring in on both sides. Now, shifting gears here, of course, another reason we come out is for all of the fashion on the red carpet. And Peter and Elsa, we will have all of those highlights in just a few minutes.